Welcome to Fortitude Ranch. I want to tell you today about a concept that's a little bit different than what you may have heard of in regards to survival. There's no doubt that a viral pandemic, um, such as what we're now seeing with Ebola, um, could hit the United States at any time. Top government officials have survival locations for their families, and many wealthy Americans have spent millions on private shelters. Now you, your family, and friends can enjoy a survival community and recreational facility with our affordable solution. It's clear the government cannot help us. There is substantial risk of chaos and loss of law and order when a life-threatening disaster strikes. We saw this after Katrina, which was a minor threat compared to a nuclear attack, a viral pandemic, or an EMP disaster. When people run out of food and water, they will steal, loot, and kill to survive. Knowing that law enforcement is overwhelmed and unable to stop them, they will wage crime in order to survive. The whole issue here is whether or not the federal government, the state government, and the local government will in fact collapse at some point in time. And if that were to happen, where would people go? How would they survive? What would they eat? And how would they get along with each other? Here at Fortitude Ranch, the community concept is what's truly different and truly unique. The thing that we provide here is a community standard by which there are rules, there are regulations, there are policies, there are procedures, all that the members of Fortitude Ranch agree to before becoming members. It's not one family, it's not one person, it's a concept of community whereby everyone is trained in all phases and facets of survival. Each person, based on their training and their area of interest, focuses and specializes in a specific area. In order to provide the ultimate in security, our members stand guard on rotation. Additionally, our members hunt, provide animal care, and assist in food preparation. There are many other daily activities for our members. Most commonly, preppers use an underground shelter on their own property as a means of protection. This is a bad idea for many reasons. We prefer shallow shelters, basements, and above ground structures to facilitate a rapid response by our guards to man guard stations and the defensive walls to deter potential marauders. We strategically locate our facilities in rural areas where there is no risk of a nuclear attack. For this reason, deep underground shelters are not needed. A few feet of earth is sufficient for shielding. However, radioactive fallout is likely in many disaster situations, so we use shallow underground shelters. There is a need to keep people spread out and in separate groups, not bunched together in a shelter sharing the same air. We have radiation detectors and other equipment to monitor radiation levels. We also have the ability to remediate ground contamination from fallout in order to keep our members safe. If someone is hiding in a basement or an underground shelter, marauders can shoot a single guard and quickly move in or cover up an air vent, rendering them helpless. We believe our armed guards and our well-armed members will make it likely that we will not have to fight. Logically, marauders will go after those who are not protected and are unprepared for civil unrest. A single family survival group is vulnerable. On the other hand, a large, well-disciplined community with good defensive positions and leadership is much safer and strategically beneficial. Naturally, we are a survival community. We're located in the wilderness of the West Virginia mountains. Um, we have access to over 18,000 acres of a national forest. We're here in the national forest, in a huge national forest that provides for plenty plenty of food source. There's bear, there's deer, there's turkey, there's all types of wildlife here that with the proper training, the proper care, and the proper preparation, all of these things become a natural food source for us in the event that we're not able to travel to the local grocery store and buy our meat and poultry and things like that off of the shelf. We have chickens, milk goats, fishing, gardens, walnut, and peach orchards and stockpiled food as well. I'm telling you this because I think it's time that you think for your own benefit and for the benefit and safety of your family, what would you do? What would I do? What would anybody do? If there was a serious 
viral pandemic or situation in the United States of America, where would you go? What would you do? How would you protect your family from such an environmental disaster? And the answer is Fortitude Ranch. In addition to our Fortitude Ranch locations in Colorado and West Virginia, we will open sites in Wisconsin and Nevada soon, continuing to expand to provide you a national network of security. Members can sign up to take vacation days at any Fortitude Ranch location. Our family members may be away from home when disaster strikes. In that situation, members can go to any Fortitude Ranch location. Our log buildings provide comfort and have amenities as many modern homes would. All of our structures are used for recreational use when we're in normal operation mode. This is a gazebo. Um, we use it, it's, it's aesthetic, it's pleasing to the eye, but it's also very secure. It's made of eight inch logs. You'll notice that it steps out so that there's a a perspective of the entire property from the gazebo as far as the front of the property. We have armed guards on duty in the event that we have an emergency that requires us to man the stations. We have several different outposts for the purpose of providing that security, providing it at a level that is exponential when it comes to what we do here. As part of membership, everybody is trained in all aspects of survival and security. All Fortitude Ranch locations have a firing range for member use, both training for guard duty and for recreational enjoyment. Members have lock storage to keep their weapons, ammo, personal items, and recommended supplies in sight, always ready for them in case they need to get here without ability to get home and ready supplies. One of the things that's unique about what we do is the fact that we are a survival community, but yet we're open as a recreational facility um, during a non-crisis period. For the price of a family vacation, you can come to the mountains of West Virginia or Colorado and stay in a beautiful bread and breakfast, ride horses, go hunting, fishing, hiking, or bike, and have a great family vacation. For more information on Fortitude Ranch, go to our website, fortituderanch.com, and read more about the threats and our concept for a low-cost, high-safety survival community.